welcome to the the podcast. And in we have coming is. <laughs> you literally said my full name. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just play this. Alright, whatever. Hey, welcome to the show. Thank you, Bob or James. Hey, it's whatever you want it to be. I I can't see at all. Oh, I can see. Uh, okay, so you just tell me if like it's like twenty percent or something. All right. You didn't do all that on right. purpose. Oh no, I did on purpose. Oh okay. Yeah. All right. That's a good song. Is that Rick and Morty? Yeah. Is that Star Wars? What's that theme song? That's. <laughs> all right. I think this would be pretty regular. That's how it should. I'm gonna turn that off. Huh. All right. Okay. You can do that. It's interesting. I mean, that's it's interesting. I just don't know how loud it'll be. I could also just add it in. Yeah, post. that's what I was thinking. That's why I was surprised you even had that idea because it's like, yeah, just add that in post. I usually do classical music in the mm. background. Okay. Well, I guess we're talking today about uh, everything to Black Lives Matter to people reacting to Black Lives Matter, to COVID-19. Is it something people should worry about? Probably, I think. Uh, and then also just the general election coming up in November. We're just going to try and go through everything we can. Uh-huh. Uh, hopefully get a better informed view. Uh, we got here Mystery Man. Uh, yeah, you can go on that. And I got some research here that we're going to go through. Uh, oh yeah okay yeah 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 i don't even know the points i have so i think we'll find quite a lot of similarities because on the political compass i'm like right there yeah so yeah so that's even visible yeah no it's i'm on the left not. side yeah he's I'm on right he's pretty middle. much moderate yeah mystery man is moderate um we'll find a lot of similarities okay so i guess we'll get into black lives matter um <clears throat> i mean Do first <laughs> no they don't no, uh, <laughs> no. Okay, that was that was um that was a joke. Um, I think it's been really interesting because first it started with um first protests and then obviously it got really violent, and I think it was interesting because I kind of I I think you got to understand the rage that's coming from that point of view. Mm-hmm. Um, after kind of being you know pushed to the side, you know in general, you know I feel like even after the 70s, the civil rights movement, like, nothing... I mean, things changed, like, people... I, things changed I, drastically. Yeah. Drastically. We yeah. Did. Yeah, 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 no, it was pretty bad. Like, they couldn't fucking sit and, like... From not being able to vote to having a black president win red states for and do it for eight years mm. and be popular... Right. Um, shows yeah. that um, there may be more obstacles faced. Mm-hmm. There are definitely more obstacles faced, but you can still literally become the most probably one of the most powerful if not the most right. powerful person in the world being a black man in america yeah I, from a single family household yeah i mean i i think that's that's interesting but um like from some of the music i hear and i think in general do you think do you think obama did very much to i mean to help you know poor black families or just black families in general uh i don't know about that specifically right I don't think he did much of any. I don't think people in general all over the country did better under Obama. Like, right. I think they did worse. Mm-hmm. I don't think he necessarily made the country. He left office with us bombing seven other countries and uh, yeah. not. I mean, it's not like there was much that he could do in terms of making single payer health care, but it's not like he did mm-hmm. that much under his presidency. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah and I guess not. I don't something know. I'd have to look into is um, this Republican in my class one time said that. Um, the the whole ice kids in cages thing started under Obama. Oh, that did happen. Yeah, or that was already happening. And I wonder what the case rate is. Uh, you know, before his term, and you know, now that Trump's in, I think it's getting a lot more headlines on you know liberal media outlets. But I don't know. What's your take on that? On kids in cages? Yeah, kids in cages. Is this is this something that's being revealed more after you know Trump being there? And you know, it's definitely 
well, people, I have never heard it in the media talk that it was, right. this was the same thing under Obama. And I right. don't know if this is actually entirely true, but what I thought it was is this was used to prevent the spread of tropical disease, like a long time ago, was the isolation of parents and kids. Okay. And then that kind of escalated, I think, under Obama, the Obama administration to just right. all pit kids would be separated right. from their parents because right. like, there was a lot of kids that were smuggled in without their parents. Right. Right. And like people were lying about being their parents. Yeah. Okay. For human trafficking. Oh. Yeah. Really? I wouldn't know. That's what my social justice teacher told me. Really? Yes. So they were they were going to these ice camps or whatever. I wouldn't call them camps. I know. sort of mentioned that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. I. No. It was interesting because it was also my like, uh, very seventies teacher. You know, she was like in Height Ashbury and you know like in San Francisco when all that shit was going on in the sixties, and she was having this. I mean, this one conservative dude came out. And said, you know, that that was happening, you know, during the Obama administration. And then it's just kind of like, you know, she's like, ah, that's not, that's not true. That's not true. It's definitely true that it happened right. during the Obama administration. I don't know. If we, yeah, that, we need that, to, Just because I, things happen under the Obama administration doesn't mean it's Obama's fault. Just right. Just like when things happen under the Trump administration doesn't mean it's Trump's fault. Or That's anybody. a fair, yeah, that's a fair assumption. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess my, okay, so let's go back to the um, riots when it was first happening. I, I initially i supported the riots i the riots yes. not protests the not riots. the pro- I, tr- I mean the protests and the riots but you supported the violence uh yeah i okay it was not di- okay interesting yeah i think i supported the violence didn't seem to be directed at any particular constructive i i think ideally in that moment we burned down the big companies owned by white people yeah but they mostly burnt down stores owned by black people that is that true Yes. Well, that that's been true with most riots because most of them happen in predominantly black areas and black they, neighborhoods. Yeah, like most stores that get trashed have black owners and black okay. managers. And I, I know. That I, I wonder how that riots. that breaks down in Minneapolis. I have no idea. Yeah, I have no idea either. Uh, something we'd have to look into. But I, I, I have been seeing lots of cool videos on Instagram of people shooting each other in Minneapolis. And yeah. And now is it so? Is there police in Minneapolis now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think oh. they're just they're just much slower to respond. Okay. I would assume. Yeah. I know crime has been going, crime went up like, or murder has been going up in, is, this is kind of weird, I was just looking at this today, went okay. up in New York, I know, mm-hmm. like by 16%, I think, murder since Murder in New York. Riots. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That, I mean, that sounds about right. Yeah. Um, I guess it came from a place of like, you know, kind of like wanting, not wanting this violence to happen, but because on one hand you have peaceful protests and i feel like at this point peaceful protests for the average white person i guess i mean maybe that's a little racist of me to say but like it doesn't mean much to them and if they previously thought like black lives didn't matter um you know peaceful protest wasn't gonna change their mind but i mean i could also you could also say that you know it's like oh you know all these black lives matter protesters you know burning fucking buildings and shit um isn't productive either if anything, it's turning people <clears throat> against their cause. If, if you were a racist white person and you think black people are violent and mm-hmm. then a black person gets killed and then black people act violent, right. then that's not going to... Well, even if it's not black people acting violent, a mm-hmm. lot of the violence is not even... is probably coming from people that um, are college kids that are probably white, honestly. Mm. And uh, I know that a lot of the violence that was coming from... Miser- uh, what was it fucking called? Minneapolis? No. St. Louis, there was a lot of violence in St. Louis, or relative, lar- relatively large amount of violence during the protests in St. Louis. Mm-hmm. Most of the arrests were people that had traveled there, like, from the tri-state area. Really? That's, like, a new, that's New York, New Jersey. Yeah. I, I, I found it interesting, like, white people being in on the action. I don't think white people were really, like, I, I think it's it was very different for a black person to be, like, uh, you know, being mad at the system and uh, vandalizing something, and some white person being there and just doing it because... I don't know. Yeah, I, you know, you were saying like, oh yeah, no one's going to really care unless you act violent. Yeah. It sets such a dangerous precedent because it is kind of showing in terms of politics that violence works. Yeah. And that means that different groups that are not going to be liberal are going to continue to do the same thing that you might not support. That's true. That are going to be that violent. Is, that is vi- very true. When you act violent, companies listen to you. And, right. But in the same time of changing just the same per- like people's minds. Right. So the violence certainly didn't make me want to... Watching the videos of yeah. store owners getting beat and stuff like that did mm-hmm. not make me want to yeah. even consider going to one of the protests. Right. And also, but 
on a different note, mm. remember Blackout Tuesday? The only thing you could, I mean, that was every. I felt like every single. That was the biggest was. change. Of, or, no, but uh, whatever your name is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, That's number two. The yeah. I'm just saying that that was literally everywhere. You had to. Uh, there was no way to hide from it if you were on the internet. There, yeah. Every person posted Black Square. You couldn't see anything else besides support for the movement, really, right. or awareness for it. Mm. And people were like, well, yeah, you're not doing anything. You're silencing the movement by doing that. But in a way, that made it so every single... I, you couldn't ignore it. And right. that, to that, me, does better to spread awareness. That's really interesting. Because I was going to say that... I don't know. I, I don't I don't think it was... I, I mean, that's an interesting interesting perspective, for sure. But, like, I, I thought that was kind of just, like... I think some people did that and then just called it quits. And I think that's kind of lame. Mm. Um, I think digital activism has kind of gone in a weird direction where people are posting these things and, and I, I don't know how effective that is anymore personally i don't think people should post anything unless they're entirely certain what they're posting it really I think bothers there's a, me a lot i think there's a lot of weird stuff going on around and like outdated stuff as well um yeah i think people need to be more sure in what they're posting and like just because your friend posted it doesn't mean oh, okay she read it through and so <laughs> or he read it through there are these like these people literally like bully their friends like and stuff like really i know someone who posted something and i was mm. like that's not right that's wrong yeah that's like, like this is what they actually said and then um they were like oh wow i didn't know and they deleted it right and then their other friends that they saw it were like why did you delete it do you hate black people is what they messaged them and Jeez. then she started crying Whoa. and it was like i was amazed i was shocked and this person i, I had just it doesn't really matter just because they're posting, but posts mm -hmm. all the time about right, it. Right, right. It just deleted one thing because it was wrong. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think I might have done that. I was like, you I might have met you yeah, no, someone that they. No, I, I told someone. No, I didn't say like, oh, you don't care about Black Lives Matter. Um, but I, I said I don't know if that's true. I think that's outdated. It was something about Trump, and he had a, all these pictures with like little girls, and like I think. No, I'm not saying something. like all of them, but like I think some of them were with his daughter and like. Oh yeah, I saw that same thing. Yeah, yeah, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure I didn't look into it, but like everyone in the comments was like, literally wake up, Libs, and it's like, yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It just it just seemed like no no liberal was out there was like no that's not his daughter so I mean I mean that's not my best research but she took she took down the post, so. Oh okay. Yeah 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 um yeah i think people need to be more careful with that although i don't know i think i think it's a weird direction that it's going that we've seen like uh influencers like posting pictures like in front of like broken um stores. you know stores and whatnot and saying black lives matter uh -huh. i think that's just like so disgusting because they're using a movement to like make money for their own brand and Kind of seems like most companies that are, uh, you know, being celebrated as PC, woke. Yeah, yeah woke. They're what they're do they don't give it. They don't care. Right. They do not care. They care about money. Yes, I can promise you that. Yeah. Especially, I mean, have you seen like, there was like multiple Black Lives Matter groups or, or donation mm -hmm. um that donation uh, pages right that none of that money was like we're gonna bail out protesters. None of that money went to bail out protesters. Yeah. There was one that even went to Chinese front companies, and it Whoa. made it, like. They made a lot of money. I don't want to say a specific Okay, number. yeah, we're going to drop some of these links that we're mentioning, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah, find them. Make sure we can fact check it. I'll put something right here. It just, uh, you know, Mystery Man is completely wrong. Uh -huh. um, just that people are, fuck yeah, people are abusing them, abusing it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Actually, yeah. not to me. They are. It, it, it's undeniable if you say you're going to put your money towards doing something and you don't put that money towards doing it. Right. That's yeah. not just an opinion. You are... Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll find exactly which one that is. Um, I guess that kind of goes straight into um, uh, the, what's their name? Washington Redskins, changing their name to the Washington Foreskins. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no name confirmed for the Washington. The Washington uh, Red People. Red. <laughs> there you go. That was, uh, that's going to be something like only cap. But... <laughs> Um, you, you were more right about that. So, yeah. So I, I actually went and I looked that up. Yeah. Um, and yeah, yeah we talked about it before, and you, yeah. you, I was like, most Native Americans. Yeah, you said don't most care. Native Americans love the no, be called red. Skins. No, they don't like to be called it. They're not offended by the name. Okay. So then I went back to the Washington Post poll. Mm -hmm. That's it was 2016, and nine okay. out of ten Native Americans don't find really? the name offensive. Okay. Yeah. Then the then there was like uh, other polls that were done, that were like. Is this really conclusive where mm -hmm. they interview? I think it was specifically in California, mm -hmm. and it showed in 
California was like 49% mm-hmm. found it offensive. Okay. So only like 60% didn't find it offensive or something like right. that. Right. Or what, that would be 51% barely. Yeah. Um, and you know what? I don't care. Yeah. It's not like I care. But well, are they going to change the name? Like I said, are they going to change the name Washington too? Because he had, are they going to change the state because he had slaves? Is that what, uh, I'm Did completely un- un- uh, unknowledgeable on that. Just the pulling it- down the <laughs> statues and everything, you know, of wa- of George Washington. Mm. What do you think about that? I think it's r- stupid. I think it's okay. ridiculous. George Washington. Yes. Right. He is the founding father. Yeah, yeah one of the founding fathers. One of the founding fathers. Yeah. Uh, he's my father. and mm-hmm. uh, He's your dad. Yeah. Yeah. No, but I do think that's ridiculous. I think if, I mean, I just saw that video where they were mm-hmm. asking people to sign petitions to uh, take it down. Know, yeah. The other video was like, and also, were you willing to take down the statue of Muhammad? And they're like, no. And they're like, well, he owned slaves. Right. right? He raped his fucking... His the, 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 the honorable uh, prophet Muhammad or whatever? The guy... Honorable... Yeah. The pro- yeah. Sure, yeah. The prophet Muhammad. The guy who like, was I don't working... think we should take down his statue. I don't care. But mm. also, it's... I mean, it is a part of history. Mm-hmm. Obviously, it's an incredibly important part of yeah. theological history. But... It's he owned slaves, right, right. I don't even know much about him to know if he did great things. But yeah, the jo- George Washington did do great things, and he also did own slaves. You're kind of coming from a perspective that if you know one person owns slaves and we're gonna get rid of them, we we should be consistent. Which I mean, I don't makes... think we should get rid of any of them. I just think they might as well be consistent, and they certainly aren't. It just mm-hmm. comes from a sense of sen- a sentiment of hating America, not necessarily even hating slaves. They pulled down the statue of Ulysses S. Grant. In Seattle, yeah. which was the general for the Union. Okay. He beat the South. He's one of the most accomplished generals right. in, in history, especially right. in American history. Mm. They pulled down his statue. Why? Because they don't know who he is. <laughs> yeah. They don't know who he is. That's why. Probably. Right. Huh. Yeah, that seems interesting if they're on the other side. But I, I, I'm i assuming he had slaves. So No, I- he didn't have slaves. He No, he's from the North. He's from... Uh, the, the, you can't have slaves in the North. Really? He was a con- he was the Union general, Ulysses S. Grant. Ulysses S. Have you never have you never heard of him? I have not. I'll be in So that's the thing, is they'll statue. just they see a old statue, they'll just tear it down. Huh. So let's... Honoring American Civil War general, eighteenth United States president, Ulysses S. Grant. Mm. Civil War general. For the North. For the North. Where is he look click on why what do you look up his memorial? Look up where he is from. Oh. Uh, what origin? And also, I don't know if they pulled down that statue. It was one in Seattle. That's definitely not the statue. Uh, Seattle. Puget yeah. Sound. Oh, that, that, I think that's it. Twenty twenty. Yeah. See. Dang, he looks pretty cool. Huh. But I mean, he's not. He's probably racist. Yes. Yeah. Along with every. Every person possible who... <laughs> person not black from the 1900s, or white yeah from the 18 from the early 1800s. 18 from 1860 oh shit yeah so yeah. the civil war was in 1860 yeah okay but, um or 1865 whatever yeah the fuck. and uh yeah every single person was every monarch in england right i mean it's even probably like the working middle class yeah I yeah mean, and then if you even historically everywhere if you go mm. back a certain time america did not found slavery. Mm. Slavery was everywhere. Right. Including, and, and years and years before America, mm-hmm. it was being practiced. It's been practiced everywhere. It's always been practiced. People have always had slaves and it's and never been it's right. right. No, it's never been okay. right. Yeah. But pe- it doesn't, when people make progress, you can acknowledge that good progress mm-hmm. that we, we live with that, with the benefit of that progress today. Okay. There's no reason to try to forget it. Okay. Right. Yeah, I, I don't think I don't think tearing the statues is necessarily forgetting it. It's not the same as the Confederate statues either, to me. Okay. The the founding fathers are not is. So you're making a distinction between Confederate. Uh, I, I do personally think none of them should be destroyed. Okay. Including the Confederate monuments. I, I don't think they should be destroyed either. I think they should have a place in, uh, in a least, museum. In museum. Yeah. 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 My. Uh, but I do th- I do <clears> not <throat> think we should. I do think the Washington statue should stay up. And yeah. This is totally backwards. Mm-hmm. It, you can, if you want to look this up and check it, yeah. you can at least put it in the description. I can yeah. find the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of CNN talking about when Bernie Sanders went to see the the Washington Monument, in Mount, more Mount Rushmore. Right. And um, he's like, four 
beautiful, um, four brilliant men, right? The be- four of the best American right. presidents, right? George Washington mm-hmm. among them. And it this is on CNN, and then you know you have four months later now, yeah, and then things and, become politically and like, relevant and again. And Trump wants yeah. to hold a rally in front of four slave uh, a slave owner monument. I don't yeah, know, they completely twisted it. Mm-hmm. It's the same news outlet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It seems like you play the cards whichever way. It goes for you in yeah. politics and the media. I think the media is taking just a, a, a turn for the worse, man. Like, there's, I don't think, CNN, Fox News, I don't think there's really any value in watching either. Really? I well, feel, okay, some value. That's funny, too, that you compare those two. Do you, do you have some more? I would say, because, it's funny, because I would also go to compare the CNN and Fox News. Right. But Fox News doesn't, there's one show on Fox News, I think. As I know of, it's called Brett Bear that says, oh, we're not, we're going to be partisan. We're going to be bipartisan. We're not going to be for conservatives or for Republicans. Mm. Shows on Fox, like Fox News yeah. does not claim to be a bipartisan institution. It is clearly made yeah. to be conservative, yeah. to be right wing. It mm-hmm. is, does, I mean, it's incredibly opinionated. Yeah. It's, but CNN is supposed to, their kind of motto is not we're you know we're just all around news and you still compare it as the left and the right because yeah. that's what they become they yeah. be they there's no left. there's no way CNN is a freaking moderate in this whole conversation no, but no. They, but they pretend they are which They're, is why a lot of people have a problem with them because people don't seem to have a problem with ABC mm. or what see MSNBC yeah. sorry. MSNBC okay and they're they're left like, right they're like the Fox of the, and no one people don't really have as much of a problem with them because they're pretty open about it yeah. Yeah, I guess it's just coming out of transparency with them. And I haven't watched CNN in like since last year, so maybe it's they're more open about it. But yeah, I used to, I was watching it, and there was like Don Lemon, and they were like, "Well, you, he's so the guy the guest is like, well, you're a Democrat, and he's like, you don't know that, or you blah blah blah. You don't know if I'm saying I don't know. He just was completely not owning up to that. He yeah. clearly had a yeah uh, side in it. Yeah, side, which doesn't happen on the other. I um, feel like it doesn't happen on Fox, where if someone asked, said something like that, they would say, yes, I am. Mm. Because Fox is, like, almost Big Brother-esque. Right. Very clearly explaining, like, this is what we believe in. Right. Right. It's not... It's opinions. It's less than yeah. news. Dude. I think if I could, is opinion. Okay. No, news. I'm not gonna... Okay, I'm gonna say it. If I could, I'd punch Tucker Carlson in the face so hard. Really? I think his face is just so dumb. I actually have a screenshot of his face going... <laughs> He just looks weird, and then when he hears the other, when he hears the other side, he goes like he does this. He goes, he like kind of twists his head, like, but but didn't they say that? And he's just okay, like, <laughs> yeah, he's he like, does that. All the oh time. yeah, he does. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me take this, and then <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Yeah, it does. Yeah, that. Yeah, no, he's like, he starts kind of squinting into the camera. He's like, what is this lady talking about? Yeah, equal rights. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's pretty on the he's as close as you can get to honestly i'll, I'll listen to him occasionally mm. uh i can't handle it to me yeah i can uh, to me you know Cuomo, even cnn i don't yeah you okay. know Cuomo? uh yeah new york's senator uh, uh, governor but his governor. brother has a show on cnn it's one of the biggest shows on cnn mm. and uh my dad watches it and mm-hmm. it's the exact same it is tucker carlson but liberal but he does liberal. the same yeah they hate you and they hate your family they right. both do that thing and it's I can't watch that. Yeah, no. But I can I can I can handle. You can Tucker bear Carlson. through Tucker Carlson. Yeah, but I, I think totally Tucker, see how no, you wouldn't I, be able to do that. No, no. It's just like he's just like they're taking your money, your private property. I don't. Know, he's just like sometimes I don't know. What it's true saying. sometimes what he's saying. It's but like I, I mean like really, yeah the truth. It's just like completely generalized. To me, like, yeah. the thing about Tucker Carlson, and I do admit I will watch clips of Tucker Carlson. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's like really good monologues honestly like he's because re- he's really frighteningly passionate frighten no fright frighteningly blunt okay and uh yeah but the thing about it is it's it's you get this propaganda vibe oh yeah no very strongly that's why i can't handle it I'm because just like why because he talks like, so personally like he t- he's like talking to you like yeah through yeah, the, yeah through yeah. the screen that's what that. that's what you're talking about the big brother thing okay yeah it feels like big brother a little bit yeah and i'm like dude stop talking to me you're scaring me yeah, and he is, you know, he's not really, you know, I would not want, I would not want him to be a president. Oh, I no, no, he him. should not be a political and candidate he, ever. And he doesn't vote. Really? Yeah. That seems stupid. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Do you yeah. think that people should, more people should vote? Yeah. 
Okay. But I mean, there do be some dumb people, though. That's the thing for me. I, I don't <laughs> mind that that nobody votes. <laughs> I think it's pretty good. What was it? There what was, what was the turnout people. last? Uh, twenty sixteen. I'm gonna guess twenty four. Twenty sixteen uh, percent. Is there a way to popular percentage of people or percentage of people that didn't vote? Vote. Yep. It's. I bet it's good. Oh, it's, vo- just look at voter turnout. Okay. Uh, 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 Control G. Voting rates. Control G. Alright, just take over the show, Dale. Right, okay. Jamie, can you pull this up? Yes. Oh, you just, <laughs> uh, Jamie, can you pull that up? You know, it'd really be disingenuous to not. At a 20 year low. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's good because you want it's a like golf, <laughs> and that's why we have that man as our president. Mm. All right, means about fifty percent of voting in citizens cast ballots this year. So at least the majority. That's actually came out. really a lot. I feel like that's shut up. They're you're trying to get through my. Wow, app that's great. That's actually a lot. Holy cow! I I didn't they not think it was that many people that voted. Mm. Mm. Half? That's more than half. Yeah, that's majority. I feel like it's gonna go even lower. uh, uh, You know. Do you think it's gonna go up? This one? Yeah, for twenty. While getting all the kids to vote, all the little. I think it's gonna go down. You think it's gonna go down? Yeah. I I think people. I feel like less people want to vote for Biden than Hillary Clinton. Somehow, maybe that's not true. I feel like people lost confidence in the voting system after Hillary won the popular. Uh. It doesn't really matter, to be honest, because... Uh, voting in general or beca- the well, popular vote? I'm realizing at more and more because certain states are just becoming saturated with people with certain beliefs. So you know California is going to be... You know California is going to be blue with the districts the way they are. and with the so, way that Okay, gone. that's what I don't get. Let me say... Let's make it clear right now. It does not matter if you vote in California. Okay, no, it would matter. All Democrats, if, okay. don't vote in California. <laughs> Just don't do it. It doesn't matter. Don't do it. Yeah, let's do it. It's a bad... <laughs> um, you sound like uh, someone. Who? One of the clerks at my work. Which one? Uh, yeah, you <laughs> hey, let's do it. Yeah. He always gives, you, gives me these like crazy things. Like, you know what? He's Get, hilarious. Yeah, he's like, grab their crackers and, and punch them. <laughs> punch them. <laughs> yeah, I remember he was like, one of the things he said was, why are all these people mad? I know what it is. It's gluten. And what, I don't know. Just with all the crud. He's freaking weird. He's really weird and funny and like... He's a super strange guy. Yeah. Very democratic. Is he? Or not democratic. Uh, liberal. Yeah. Is he though? Yeah, he is. He was like, God, they believe it's Trump guy. But I, I hate how some people like don't even go to Trump's beliefs or his like policies. I think at least beliefs. But like sometimes he's like... Popular- have you seen his hands? It's a popular. It's a popularity contest. Have you seen real. how he stands? He stands like this. It's really a popularity well, stand contest. Stand like, stand like a normal person. Dude, Chris is un PC, which is why I wasn't sure about that. Oh really? Wa- yeah, because he's comp- maybe just because he's un he's whack. He's a little like off the rails. Mm. Th- there was a bagger. How's right, the just, video going? It's going good. Okay, good. Just we'll cut this part out. But he was there was a bagger, and I was like, "How oh, are the new baggers?" He goes, "Too many chromosomes, man." <laughs> It wasn't about you, by the way. It was, it was about the other two. And he goes, one of them, just a space kid. I'd have to open the bag in his face to get his attention. I'm like, hello, the other guy. I just hope he doesn't have access to guns. And that got, that was true. And then later he asked if he could see his guns. That's so weird. He was, he was like, I got, a, I got arrested because they said I had anger issues. I don't have anger <laughs> issues. Oh <my> <laughs> That's, what he, That's what he said. Wait, what? He when he was that. holding the gun? No, not when he was that holding the gun. When they were, when, he no, he, no that. they didn't let him. They didn't let him do that. Oh, but oh, but okay. when he was he was walking out of the store. <laughs> all right, you can cut back in. Uh, okay. <laughs> or or maybe just bleep all the. Uh yeah, names. you can just bleep the names because I think it's funny. Um. Uh shoot. Okay. Fuck. You were correct. Yeah. Okay. W- with the voting thing though, okay. by the way. This is interesting to me personally, because like after what everyone told me, like it made it it made it seem like voting does not matter. Yes, the only I, I in, honestly, in a state that has it like confirmed. Yeah, and yeah. I the only reason I would want to vote because I'm probably if I wasn't like to not vote Democrat is because I wanted to just 
show that my name sh- just show that we're not all Democrats, right? That, that base, essentially that some of us are independent. So you would so vote Trump? Are... Just wait, what? Would you vote Trump? Is what you're saying? I don't know. Oh, but okay. I'm saying you if, wouldn't not vote or vote for, if like, I was the going. Green party, no, no. But if okay, let's let's just let's say candidates. it wasn't Trump, and yeah. I don't think it really. Let's say it was. Let's say it was Hillary and Ted yeah, Cruz. Yeah. Then, uh, or I don't even know. Let's just yeah, say it was like some guy I supported and, and someone yeah. I didn't. Yeah. And it was clearly that someone I didn't was going to win no matter what. I would yeah. still vote for the other person knowing that it wouldn't really matter with the electoral mm-hmm. votes. Simply just so what they're going through the popular vote, you know, mm-hmm. the, the voice is heard a little bit. So okay. people aren't like, oh, wow, it's totally corrupt. Like there are people that live in that state that support this person so that they don't completely right them. oh okay so then it's like okay you know it's not a complete failure or loss landslide it's not like because like yeah you I could guess. have it like i guess like you know republicans don't vote in california they and then do, it, okay yeah no, no but let's just say they didn't and then you kind of see like oh there's no republicans here yes that would be because like if you go to the north or more inland i think you get more you know like republican conservative you know uh, yeah, people like Stan, like Stanislaus. Right, because don't they have the North where they want to secede from California or Stanislaus cut it off? Isn't North, I guess. But wait, no. I was gonna. Well, oh. yes, they do. Yeah, okay. they do. Jefferson. Yeah, Jefferson wants to be Jeff. It'd be Oregon, Oregon, Jefferson, um, California. It's supposed to just be California. It's always originated that. But when mm-hmm. I was in Oregon, you know, you see a lot of Jefferson flags, Jefferson fairs. Mm. They want to be part of it now because they're also. Like Lake, there would be Lake County, Oregon, Mm. and then there's like a few other counties next to it. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, but uh, that yeah, that's kind of the point. Okay, so this is what I was going off of though: was that Maine is the only state, to my knowledge. Actually, I'm fairly positive is the only state they don't. Hold on, I'm going back a little. Okay, if you in California, if fifty, we have fifty five votes, right? Mm -hmm. If fifty one percent of the vote goes to a Democrat, all fifty five. Right. Delegate. Yeah. Yeah. So in Maine they split it. So when you really look, yeah. So if you look, at I don't understand why it's not like we should do it like Maine, right? Shouldn't all states do like Maine? Like where it's yeah, proportional? Yeah, all states should do it. Yeah, but we don't. It's the only state that does it. And I was con- I found out by looking like... at a map and it was okay. like crisscrossed mm. the, between red and blue. Oh really? On Maine. Oh okay. Yeah. I see. Um, wouldn't that just be like popular voting or no? Because. Oh, is that because we get different amounts of um, delegates and we kind of switch that a little bit? Huh? Because, like, we're supposed to have delegates representative to the amount of people in our state, right? But sort of not. Uh... Because that's that's when smaller states were mad and they were like, we need more representation. Do they have more? I know that Wyoming has only one or two mm-hmm. vote, Like, even districts really so i would think that they only have, and that's like a very unpopular non yeah yeah so i think it's popular it is population based actually mm-hmm. that makes yeah. I, maybe it's slightly inaccurate now mm. and maybe california deserves more mm. yeah right because like we have crazy you know population increases and whatnot i personally think more i think people I, I wish ideally that people paid more attention to their governor um, elections than they paid to the presidential election. That's yeah, I, I think like I personally. think there's something to be said about like change in your area. If we're like trying to you know support you know all like families and people of color and whatnot right now, it's like local you know voting matters way more than like you know the what the president's gonna say to us or whatever. Well, I I yeah, ideally I would like it that the president doesn't even really matter and uh, it's much more localized. Not even right. the state, but so that's to the that's to counties, more your really. libertarian perspective, right? It's not as much libertarian. It's just, I, I, you don't think I have the full this. Federal I, I just think that you really when says, yeah. I really think politicians don't care. I think the politician that votes on a bill, they're voting all over the country. But there's politicians in Florida voting yes on a bill that's going to affect me. Okay, right? they don't care. They don't know what our lives are like. It's completely different, right? Versus likewise, likewise, we don't know their lives, and they they have so many constituents that right. they're completely disconnected to who those right. constituents are. If, uh, I mean, yeah, I, California has some good examples that we kind of let literally counties decide, like, yeah. different gun laws and stuff like that. Right, right, because it's, it's, I'm sure if you go, dude, what's going on? Um, <laughs> I'm sure if you go, like, you know, 50 miles one way, like, you get something completely different. Yeah. Than, like, you know, Northern California, where 
we're in the cities and we're pretty hippie and we don't really need guns or whatever. And then you get to Northern California where you do. Where you need guns. Or, or not where you need guns, where you use guns. Yes, where it's pretty common to own them. Yeah. I mean, as you get higher up there, you probably need a gun for, like, food. <laughs> I mean, no, but... you don't need it, but <laughs> yeah. you just use a bow. You don't need a gun. That's not the point of the gun. So it's not so you think you need it. So that's what you're going to say to the pro-gun people, just get a bow. No, I am pro-gun, but I would. St- but <laughs> the reason that we have guns is not for the right to hunt, because that's not the... Right. That is actually a right in some state constitutions. Really? The right to hunt and fish is a, is a right is in that like, the Michigan state constitution. Okay. Probably the Pennsylvania state constitution. Mm. Uh, it's not in the California... We don't even have yeah. the right to bear arms in our state constitution, as far as I'm aware. Publicly? In our state constitution. Oh, okay, okay. So that but, was made after, way after like the original that, constitution and shit. Yeah, the original constitution applies to every state, but every right. state... I, I believe every single state has its own state constitution. Okay. California didn't become a state until, I think, not long before the Civil War. Like 1960s. Like 1850s. <laughs> <laughs> right during the countercultural revolution, California oh, is a state. Uh, yeah, it was a country. Did you know that? For a little bit. What do you mean? It was either before 10 days it was... or 10 years. I don't remember. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> was it? Yeah, and Sonoma was the capital. No way. Yeah. Was that, like, back in, like, 1800s or something? Yeah. Okay. That makes more sense than it being, like, 1920s. Yeah. No. Yeah, definitely not. Yeah, definitely way too soon. Definitely way too much, like, settling that has been that was going on back then. Right? Yeah, there was not that much settling going on back then, actually. But well, I don't know when they settled in California. Do we, we, this is I why could talk I need about this, but it's just... Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> it would kind of go off topic, so maybe we'll save that for another time. Um... Shoot, uh, yeah, I, I guess we'll kind of jump back to the protest. We really, <laughs> really been staying <laughs> on topic. Um, I, I, yeah, I, I thought, um, I, I sent it to you. You, we were talking about not talking. about, I just sent it. Uh, there's just like people who thought it was their constitutional right to run people over. Not their constitution. What? They thought it was their right to run people over that were protesting in the street. No, it's not the right. Yeah. To run people over. Yeah. I also don't think you should be protesting in the street, but no, right. it's not your right to run people over. Yeah. Yeah. I I mean, it's like Yeah, okay, yeah, sure. Like we're not supposed to be running in the street, so you could be mad about it. You, you don't have like, a constitutional you know, you, right to run in the street as well, though. Wait, what? You don't have a you obstructing traffic is against the law, correct? Right, right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. No, no. Both things are breaking the law. <laughs> Yeah, but one is, one is a lot worse than the other. Yes, killing if you're actually people? killing people, yeah, or hurting, injuring them. Yeah, it's just like because the, at the same time yeah. though, um, I totally think it's justified. The people that drove through, the people that were just smacking on their windows and stuff, I think that's well, justified. What are you gonna do? Just let them break out your car? That's a pretty default reaction. Well, if you start driving through the intersection and then people are getting out of the way. And then, like, people start hitting your, you know... If, they, yeah, if they're if breaking your car, they're breaking your property. If you're going to, like, slowly drive through a protest, maybe, and then you speed off. But generally, when these things happen, is that they're already going in with speed, and people aren't able to get out of their way. And then when people get out of the way, then they start hitting your windows. So, I have never seen a single video where that happens. Okay. I saw one video where there was these people in the interstate, and then some guy totally hit them, and it was really bad. And it was Oh, bad. I saw that one. Yeah. That one was disgusting. Yeah. Literally, that was going 40 miles fucking per hour. That didn't seem intentional to me. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, I'm not even joking. Like, no, 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 it was like he intentional. intentionally. Like, yeah. it wasn't like he was he trying like, to get no, around them. Wait, he wasn't like, oh, no, they're going to hit my car. He no, he, like, slowed down to 30, like, probably 100 yards back, and then he saw him, he's like, Oh, those people are gonna die today, and he just fucking ran through them. Yeah, he hit. That was that was. Come on, that was really bad. I think. I mean, laws aside, have some like humanity. Like what well, the obviously fuck? That guy those people went have, flying. Obviously, that guy didn't have humanity. No, that guy didn't. was someone that was gonna kill someone no matter what. Probably. I mean, that was yeah. a, that was attempted murder. I think. Yeah, I think what some of these protests kind of start, not start, but like maybe instigate, is people who are mad at these systems and are going to provoke something and i mean that gets back into the violence and like what you said if you see maybe you know a black lives matter or just like even a pro- provocateur um uh, that's not a part of the movement because you know obama what obama said is that there's like all these people who are kind of just being um opportunists i'm pretty sure was the word and just 
causing violence when they're able to cause violence. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, I I guess if you see that, that's going to make you more likely to do something crazy like drive into a crowd of people. Um, well, that's that should not be done. Yeah, uh, that's no, that is uh, wrong. Yeah, you're not gonna hear anybody <laughs> saying it's right. Yeah. Also, with this whole Black Lives Matter thing, and it's like, why do conservatives not care about it? Uh, there could be some. There actually, there probably are some racist people. But okay. there, but um, in general, I haven't heard a single person, a single prominent figure, say that the killing of George Floyd was justified, or not say that the officer should go to jail. Yeah. Or at least the main officer. I haven't heard a single person really. I yeah. honestly haven't. And I'm supposed to be like. Uh, am I, if I'm supposed to be indoctrinated and listening to everything, I've never heard that. Right, I personally right, think right. Even go to jail. I think even like Tucker Carl- Carlson, you know, said like Wouldn't this it, was a you know horrible death. Yeah, it's horrible. It's hard to watch. You can't. It, it, it's horrible. Yeah, it's a really terrible thing. Yeah. Um, and er, and when you if you ever say Black Lives Matter, like do Black Lives Matter? Yeah. No one's going to say no. Right. It's really the people that only have a it's problem. If they have yeah. a problem, and not even necessarily with the violence, but with they're not entirely certain of what they're supporting. There's, right. If, if, if this is a movement, why does there have to be leaders? And is it? It's got to have a website with different right. claims and stuff. Right. It it's should so just unorganized. be a saying, and it yeah. Yeah. It, do, it because there's like this website, and they have their their goals. Right. And, and a lot like of them really are about the, there's one of the obstruction of the nuclear family, which doesn't make any sense. Obstruction. The destruction of the getting rid of the idea of supporting uh, the nuclear um, family, like a mom and a dad. A mom and a dad. Yeah. Which is just like. You is know, it making okay? Your that's because that's better. completely like. Di- I feel like that's entirely against what conservatives are saying. Uh, you know, right wing pundits like Ben Shapiro are and, saying and that like, oh, it's because the dad doesn't leave and doesn't stay, and that's and kind of left wing for... pundits like Don Lemon. Yeah, he's saying that as well. He's he said that as well. He, he talked about this a few years ago. You I can, didn't even know that. Yeah, on a show about the importance about. I mean, it's kind of, it's interesting. I wonder if yeah. he'd say it now, not mm. because he doesn't believe it, but, but because of the it, current, they'd, be, yeah. they'd be saying, oh, you're distracting from right. another problem. Yeah. About just the, the he, he talked about the exact same statistics, Ben Shapiro, literally the exact same statistics Ben mm-hmm. Shapiro said. He's saying, you're this much more likely to get arrested, you're this much more likely to uh, commit murder, you're this right. much more likely to commit robbery when you are, you're this much more likely to go to jail or be addicted to drugs when you are from a single parent household. Mm. And it's really important that, this pattern stops and he also talked about like the prevalence of that in the african-american community yeah and a lot of a lot of um that's not a right-wing thought really you think that's a fact well it obviously is a fact that that's true yeah yeah it's i think some people could be like well yeah but i don't care i don't care about my i i think that it's more worth taking the risk for my children that might end up that way yeah then limit me to being forced to stay with my because to find a husband if I don't mm-hmm. want to have a husband, or right. find a father figure for my children if I don't right. want them to. Right. I, I don't really know. Yeah. Why I don't, I don't, yeah. they would not? You would not. You would be against that idea of it yeah. just being better. To, mm-hmm. But yeah. Regardless, I don't think that that's a right wing or left wing thing because okay. so many left wing people will say that. Okay. I mean, maybe not younger people. Yeah. So I, I guess that, that kind of guides me into the question of like, do you? I mean, you, you said you have some statistics on the killing, the police brutality against black people, and you, you think it's Oof. maybe o- a bit overstated. Because um, it, it, it definitely exists. You can't say that it doesn't exist. It definitely exist. exists. Mm-hmm. Yeah, obviously it does exist. And I, I, I thought it was kind of weird for some uh, Republicans to you know, say, like, oh, more or like about the same amount of people, uh, you know, black people die from lightning as they do. Uh, you know, each year than, you know, from being unarmed, you know, with police officers. I have no idea if that, that seems not true to me. It, it's like, oh, uh, you you know, we have like 300, it's it's a weird percentage thing where... Well, only 200 or so. You, so like a super small percentage of people, like, um, you know, gets not struck by lightning. Are, and then, very little you know, people are shot and killed by police a year in general. It's right, no, no, low. it comes down to like 16 or like 34 on high years. Is it actually that low? Well, okay. Well, actually, yeah. about the statistics for just shooting, so not fatal shooting. Okay. And it found that white people. Well, oh, 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 it just closed. Fuck. Okay. Um. All right. So this is where it gets a little bit dicey. It's di- it it is dicey. Okay. So. All right. So. This is the weird thing. Okay. With. This is also. This is just not an argument. This is really just stating what's what's true and what's not. Okay. Um. And this is from the federal... This is from the FBI crime yeah. stats. This is 2017. Okay, I couldn't 2017. find 2018 or 2019. Right. Yeah, I don't know why the newest ones are always hardest to find. I, yeah, I found 2013. And I okay. Found, but this is 2017. And yeah. this is the same pattern. Is 
it's every single year. It really doesn't matter what you go to. Okay. Uh, arrests for murder for Arrest whites for murder. was 4,188 okay. that year. For black and African African American, it was 5,025. Okay. Um, so, like, so that's roughly a, the that's, same. But more black, yes. Well, I mean, but, like a couple, but, yeah. but they accompany 13% of the population, right? Yeah. So, that's 400% more... Dis- the, the crime is committed by disproportionately by four hundred percent more. Right. Than by black they, people. It should be one thousand two hundred twenty nine. Right. If it was proportional. And then in robberies every, it's yeah. it's even more disproportionate. Yeah. Okay. It's four and a half times actually. Right. And then um in terms of uh shootings by police, fifty two percent of police shooting victims are white and thirty two percent are black. Now that's also disproportionate so population. Fifty two are white, thirty two are black? Yes, fifty two percent. Okay. So, and then the rest would be probably, oh, yeah. huh. I don't know. There's so um, Latino, maybe? I yeah. don't know. So, this is disproportionate to the black population, right? Because yeah. of, if They're this was based on population, yeah. they would be 13%. Right. But the crime isn't proportionate. So, accounting for crime rates, if they commit, if African Americans are re- behind 52% of mm. Uh, arrests for pretty much all crimes were going up from robbery yeah. to b- basic crimes to murder. Yeah, the same. You're gonna find the same thing. Right. You'd expect fifty percent, and whites are uh, responsible for less than fifty percent. Right, they're shot in more than 50 percent of cases. Right. whites are shot in less than in twenty percent. I less see. Than so if you take those two statistics they together, should, and yes, and we should just have. Mm, I don't think that I have. Do not think that that correlates to police being racist towards white people at all. Okay, I just think that that. Is just a little bit of a hole in the argument that they're so disproportionately shooting black people because they aren't disproportionately shooting black people. Okay. That being said, there are certainly cases in which black people are being shot unethically. Yeah. And it's sur- and it's unethically. Su- yes. At, or uh, immorally. <laughs> what? Uh, wrongly. There, there, yeah. Well, Wrong. there are there, there like, are cases where it's moral if, if someone is if you're saving someone like if let's say oh, a white person or a black person. Was no, I was just saying like oh, there's them. an ethical way to kill someone. There isn't. Well, there there is ethical. There's an ethical reason to kill someone. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was just thinking like, you know, you know, there's an ethical way to kill black people. And it's like, what? There should be. There's <laughs> no. You should. Never... I, I see what you're saying. You're yeah. just, there's an ethical way. There's an ethical reason to yes. kill someone. I mean, if they're gonna kill someone, they're gonna cause harm to someone else. Yes. And I think also it was most of the um pol- most of the cases in which black people were unarmed that were shot by police were shot by black officers. So also okay. that black officers clearly can be racist. Yeah. I wouldn't. Okay, that's but, that's a bit of a stretch. I mean, no, say, no, towards say, black people. Black officers can clearly be racist towards black people. We, we, they found they there have been studies, internal investigations with the LAPD, which had like a really big problem with racism. Yeah, black officers, th- th- black officers were d- just caught in the same pattern. Mm. Right. I feel like it's us against them. Yeah, which is like a really big problem. Where, right. Yeah. So, did you watch uh, Straight Outta Compton? <laughs> <laughs> No, just uh, the part, song. You know the song where it's like black cop in showing out for the white cop. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Was that kind of like that was in reference to the black person being especially racist I'm to <laughs> yeah trying to sign into my Google account because I got that thing. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Nice. It's, um, yeah. Basically, I guess I would think it's in refer- reference to the black cop acting racist to make the white cop respect them. Okay. Which is bad. That is very weird. Well, yeah, the, if it's the cul- dynamic, if that's the culture yeah. of the police, it's really bad. I, I think, but I yeah. don't think that's the culture of m- maybe even most police. I would yeah. say that most police jurisdictions mm. probably don't even deal with much at all. Right? Yeah, just with how large. I don't know if that's true, but yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I see where that's going. I think, and the I case, think there's, yeah. I mean, police brutality is just terrible in general, but it does happen. It is. It happens along non-racial lines i mean you you saw like we just hadn't we just had um in sebastopol the guy that was killed by the police like a year yeah. ago and then also did you see the video of the guy in dallas who was in the exact same situation as george floyd where he was don't i can't breathe i can't breathe get really? off me get and he was off a white me. guy and he was a white guy and then yeah. they and then they were laughing like oh he's probably taking a nap and they waited like 13 minutes and he was dead they never called the ambulance or anything and where was that this is in dallas okay and, we'll uh, pop some footage up here. Yeah, that'd be kind of it's, it's also super terrible. Yeah, right? yeah. I maybe even neither of them are right. Yeah, no. those officers didn't face any charges though. Yeah, and George Floyd's I, I, officers I think that's all the problem. faced yeah. charges. Yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah, I mean, I think I don't know how it goes through history, but there's been a history of police violence. 
uh, you know, it, it was probably worse than the 60s. Um, it was. They literally spray people with fire hoses. Yeah, and they'd fucking, you know, make them, like, crack their heads on the street from, like, falling from the pressure of that shit. Um, and I think, like, seeing that, it was just, like, such blatant murder. Uh-huh. And I'm pretty... I don't know what happened, but he was bailed out. There's a video of him at a Costco, and Ew. some woman was uh, the main officer, Chauvin or whatever. The main Ch- guy, yeah, the guy okay. who was taking a kneel. But he was just, like, in Costco. <laughs> what a weird way to refer to that. Just what? taking a knee? Well, he, that's what he was doing. I know. That's was, yeah, it, sounds like, it sounds like taking a knee during the national anthem. <laughs> uh, very whatever. different. Uh, yeah, I know. I don't know. I was killing the guy. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. so, yeah, he was killing the guy who's ki- like, yeah, no, sorry, I... And he's probably, he's definitely, I feel like he's definitely going to get charged. Yeah. I feel like there's no way he won't. I thought he, what I read, what I think. I think you should get Okay, what I read and what I, what I think are very different. Um, but I thought he got bailed off for like a million dollars or something crazy. Yeah. Could that happen? Could you be charged and then just bailed for hella money? Yeah. So if you're a rich person, you could just get out of any crime? No. You go to jail and then you pay bail for jail and then. Oh, and you get prosecuted. Well, yeah, it just means that you're not in jail while oh. you're, until you're convicted. Oh, okay. So because he's being convicted. There's I think he will trial. get convicted. Yeah. I, I, feel, he, I think he should get convicted. I think he should get convicted as well. Yeah. I feel fairly confident he will get convicted. Yeah. I feel fairly, fairly confident all of them will get convicted. Right, yeah. But I'm not sure how long each one. Yeah. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's some shit, dude. Yeah, it's definitely bad. It's definitely really bad. Bad. Um, and you don't need to sugarcoat the situation for you to understand that it's a, uh, or make or not sugarcoat it. I guess you don't need to change the story or the people involved for you to get the same message that what was done was bad and that those right. people need to right. Because you you were messaging or me- mentioning to me before that like yeah uh, George Floyd was he was high he was on meth he was on meth, all he, of these drugs yes. According but, to that, the autopsy yeah. report, he was on I, I fentanyl, that, yeah. meth, and cotinine. And he also had and coronavirus, it, which we, which weakens the respiratory system. Oh, okay. Which could have made it, you know, no. easier. What? <laughs> what? 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 Easier? Which would have made it, which would have made suffocating easier. Okay. It was, it, it was, it was you, know, you know, it doesn't justify eight it. Eight minutes and 46 seconds. It's kind of a hard time to. <laughs> it is a lot. Well, obviously he could. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, talking. you know what? It's because he had like a small. No, but that asthma. definitely. Okay, that probably, if that you might, get if you have that asthma, might, that and you, get, would you are more likely to die. That's like obvious. Yes, that doesn't mean that that should be a sign that they need to change their tactics because someone might have asthma and they might die if you do that. You know, yeah. After eight minutes, <laughs> I'm not in disagreement yeah. with you. Yeah, that yeah, was no, too no, no. I don't I know. think I. You I know, know, there's know, a bill I, to get rid of it entirely. Really, that make it illegal for officers to put any. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it. I wonder what if it'll think, get voted. I, I, I think, think it makes sense. Choke holds though, because like, I remember Joe Rogan noise. Is this is it dead? No, it's alive. Oh, okay. That was the that was a little lo fi. That's oh. really quiet. I don't oh, even know what's okay. on at this point. Yeah. But um Well, you just made me forget. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, that bill, I was wondering if that bill Oh. Cause then oh, it was going into like chokeholds and stuff. I and I saw Joe Rogan and uh hmm. the some other like MMA dude be like hella pissed about that. It's like, oh, the chokehold's how you control someone who's like some MMA dude. And it's like, well, he was kind of pointing to like these officers not being trained. And something that they were kind of looking into is that police, uh, you know, academies and like actual stations are just generally under trained for like high risk and like, you know, scenarios like that. I agree. So uh, they were kind of going into the idea of, uh, you know, uh, police reform and police defunding. And that would be, I mean, you, you talked about it. You said that was, that's just not how it, I think we should these. have police, mo- we should put a lot more, we should fund police a lot more okay. so we can build training facilities and have a completely, I, I and think, have a I completely think different vetting system that has a lot more money behind it so that they can have better police officers on the street. Right. I think if we defund the police, I mean, think of, all right, so yeah, let's go to countries that have police with less money. Everyone always talks about, oh, I love, oh, we loved Europe. We love right. going to countries. You think their police are like just get making jack shit and are pissed all the time? Yeah. No. If you go to countries where the police are underfunded, yeah. Mexico, mm-hmm. uh, not, not anywhere in Africa. Uh, I mean, they're also in in with the cartel. Y- yeah. Yeah. It's really they have bad. to be because of that's they <laughs> right. They're not. They don't have enough. the power. Yeah. Well, it, I think that's another thing too. Defunding the police makes worse police. Okay. 
fun, we should make better police and put more money towards the police force to better train them. Okay. I think it's crazy that the pol- it's so it's much much easier to be. I, I'm surprised how easy it is to become a police officer. Yeah, especially it when be like that easy. I'm reading a book about another country and mm-hmm. to be in the police force. It, you have to be in, you have to be in the military in this country, and you ha- or you can join the police force, but you have right. to have like really good grades, and you mm-hmm. have to undergo harsher training, right, to be in the police force than in the military. Yeah, that kind of makes really? more sense to me. Huh. Yeah, yeah, because you kind of just yeah, oh, I don't want to say anything incre- about the military, really. <laughs> what? Oh, I don't know. Sometimes they get well. Really, they're trying to get anyone onto that team. So like, if they're a little slow, I'll keep them in there. My Cortana turned on. <laughs> Shut up. But yeah. yeah, no, they're literally they did literally don't want you to fail in the army. They literally want you to pass so they can have another person on that team. So people Yeah. I feel like they get you way get more mess you get like shit people in there. Yeah, and then they get shit jobs. Yeah. Oh, do so, they? So well, I, from what I I heard mean they was, probably miss a couple of people and be like, Oh shoot. We let Benny in there. Yeah, oh just, Benny, we shouldn't have given Benny a, a gun. But you know, so what it <laughs> seemed to me from like listening to my friends yeah. that got out was like there's people that sucked in boot camp mm-hmm. and then the whole point was that you would you know they wouldn't let them fail you know they would want to give up they'd literally ask to give up and the whole point was that other people would literally be there to pick them up and drag them through it and that's part of their experience oh is is, is like no man left behind kind of huh. camaraderie I even see. if you hate someone because they're making it suck for you you have to you have to finish through with them because it's a team effort hmm. that person's probably i would assume is not going to get a very good job right they're going to be put even though you probably do, out of you desk, do choose your, maybe recruiting and uh, they probably go find recruiting yeah to, Oh, something no. maybe like i don't know not cars or something recruiting they want Being they, they want smarter people i think right they're yeah. so good at selling you it's crazy yeah I, I mean i was at some of these recruiting places i was thinking about it yeah. the navy specifically really yeah it's just because when you see like someone like uh david goggins or whatever you're like oh, damn yeah. i want to be a fucking badass like that guy that guy's but also yeah. he's wait well, yeah no he is but he's he's i don't know i mean i also it's just like i don't want to die so yeah 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 I, I can i can still do some of the things that he's done like run 100 miles in the fucking desert you could do that maybe that's pretty crazy i didn't even know i don't know anything about him honestly. yeah yeah so he's i know a lot he of was people a really like him and he was like messed up as a kid and his parents were hella fucked up his mom beat his dad his uh mom anyway beat his dad no his dad beat wouldn't his that mom. be a fucking power power move though yeah yeah that's no power move. <laughs> Be bad. <laughs> Flip it. That's when violence. No, no. His dad beat his mom really badly. <laughs> oh, oh, that's really sad. Yeah. Yeah, and they lived in like a roller rink place. It was really weird. And they had like dinner in there, and they worked for there like as kids. Anyways, he he just fucking went into the Navy SEAL program. He lost like fifty pounds in like three months. No, it was like a hundred pounds. Whoa. He was like hella fat, and he had to be like at least like two hundred or something, and he dropped hella weight like that. And then he was just, like doing all these things, and he was like. He was like uh, non buoyant, so he had to, he did like all the Navy SEAL shit, where you're literally like tied up like this, and you have to like fucking like float while being non buoyant. And he said it was like the hardest shit in his life. That's crazy. Yeah, no. So that I mean that was probably some inspiration for that. But uh, that's fuck. awesome, man. I yeah, I don't know. No, you should definitely look. I think everyone should look into him. He's really inspiring. Um, she says is kind of crazy, but. Like, I, I tried to do one of his workouts one time. It's literally, like, it was just, like, it was, first thing you do, because he's, like, not about, like, you know, he says, like, there's no excuses. You can do it anywhere. And, uh, like, he was just doing fucking jumping jacks to, like, 100. But, like, it was, like, one, two, three, one. And he did that to 100. And I think he went to, like, 150. Took, like, a minute break. And then um started doing lunges to, like, 100, too. And it's just, like, Jesus Christ, like. <laughs> The mentality for that is just, like, you have to be, like, so fine with, like, boring training. But, like, it, it I mean, it works still. Um, my posture is so bad. Yeah, I've been trying to keep it decent, but There's I've been no doing There's no back yeah. Yeah, no, I... And I'm on this, like, super scrunchy bed. Yeah. yeah. Um, damn. Yeah. Well, we've gone through the media. We've gone through, um, the protest pretty decently. Um, we kind of touched on the election in November. You gonna vote Kanye? Yeah. (laughs) I thought Jesus and, uh, the... Yes, sir. My mysterious dark story or something? I don't know. I I wish he had an album called that or something. Kanye 
fans are going to be pissed. I'll tell all the, like, one people that are watching this podcast. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, don't vote for Kanye. Why? Because, well, I, I I subscribe to the thing that, like, a vote for Kanye is a vote for... <laughs> no, no. Oh, well, I don't know if he's racist. No, no, I was saying you are for not voting for him. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I never even thought about that. Um, uh, a vote for him is a vote for Trump, and he previously endorsed Trump. Yeah. So it's like, if, you, what, if you're like... What if you just... What wait, if, is a vote for him a vote for Trump? A vote for him is a vote for Biden. For me. Most of the people I know that would vote for Kanye would vote for Trump if they weren't voting for Kanye. Really? So, if the... You know, and all it's because right, they so don't all so, conservatives. No. Kanye's a man. No, but it's because they don't... It's, it's because you want to... It is a th- it's intentionally a throwaway vote. If yeah. you hate both of them mm-hmm. and you can't make a decision. And uh honestly, I'd say that if you don't really have the time or if you Is it, is it still going? Yeah. Okay, good. If you can't make yeah. um if you don't know what to do, if you can't make a decision, you shouldn't just vote. You shouldn't have to. You shouldn't let people bully you into your vote. You should make that decision yourself. Yeah. But let's say if you just want to be part of that a process and you can't decide. Yeah. And you you are technically if, if part of that process yeah, by yeah. using a throwaway vote, right? Yeah. You are. You're still. You're still part being of part of the demo. Yeah, but then, then they can't say this is what this is who would have won the president if, if everyone if voted. It, yeah. Like no people vote for Kanye. Yeah. <laughs> like thirteen percent of the vote went to Kanye. Like, I, I, you know what pissed me off was when the twenty sixteen. See, election, that would be sick if we saw at the very end on election night, just like, uh, well, hopefully you know Biden, Trump, <laughs> uh, and then just like Kanye, like a picture of Kanye, just like really disappointed <laughs> and then like we have him at a rally it's like guys for for real though like that's we just, lost and i <laughs> it is annoying about that about because i when the 2016 election happened i was looking at news websites were literally adding gary johnson's numbers to hillary clinton's numbers it's like really? how you met libertarians yeah they're not democrats yeah they're uh they're just also not are they just like pure moderate libertarians i think a lot of people honestly that voted for gary johnson just were like moderate people or just people that didn't like either i don't know mm, yeah it was it was definitely a tough decision because no one liked either and you know what well, gary johnson really is not liked. what is yeah. not the most brilliant dude mm. really he's not like so i don't think he is i don't get the most stupid people up to the top of the <laughs> dude i do not know how the fuck this happened again it's crazy like what Biden can't talk. The Democratic talk. Party sucks. Let's and, be real. Yeah. They, they had some real good people on that stage. They suck. What are they doing? Yeah. You should be so mad. Everyone should be. I'm mad. I, right. They, I, they I had can't some believe little, it. I thought fucking Andrew Yang was so good. I thought dope. Yang was sick. I thought yeah. Tulsi was sick. Yeah. I even, you know, what's her name? Warren. Warren was like. Really? I didn't like her. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought she was but awful. I, I thought, but, you, know. I, you know, she seems intelligent. She seems, yeah. She seems intelligent. That's, That's the thing, the thing about like, Biden. Biden's the stupidest. I mean, he's nuts. Yeah, he's nuts. You can he, watch there's a 17 he, minute video just all the time. He's like, oh, blah, 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 blah. I just like my you, greatest friend, Barack America. Yeah, Barack. He yeah. Says that. <laughs> uh, it's yeah. It's it's what the fuck. It's, it's like, so messed up. Fuck. But but I thought. I mean, I think it's equally as crazy that no one even tried. I don't think anyone even tried. Running for Trump, or like they maybe they tried. Oh, I think they, tr- yeah, I think they tried running for Trump, and they're just like, okay, the numbers are so out of my head, I'm gonna just stop running. Yeah, it is. It is a pointless run. Yeah, it's a pointless way. It's a waste of money because it's it's really hard to run against an incumbent president when you are from that same party. Because of at that point, no one's gonna want to elect that same party mm. again. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, it, people are going to see the Republican Party as Trump's Republican Party because mm-hmm. Trump is now a Republican, and Republicans will back a lot of his things. Right. I mean, it's really fuck. It's really bad. Yeah, the system is so bad. It's yeah. so stupid. How do you? How did? That's why I want he, us to have more yeah. localized governments, so there can be all these nuances. Right. Versus the party for everybody, or everyone's trying to be. the I party think it for is everyone. weird. Yeah, because it's like each party is trying to like, you know, really gather like as many people as they can by like having all these promises, and then they get there, and then it's like, oh, you yeah. can't do shit. I was you looking at Biden's yeah. goals. Mm. Okay, so what? Obama, what were Obama's goals? Probably tons, right? Yeah. I don't right. remember. They throw so much shit at them. But it's he, like, you one of the things you... was universal, was med- it was Medicare for all, right? Yeah. That was his, that, yeah. wasn't he the one who started that? He couldn't Obama. even, Obamacare Obama Obama was, did not work. I mean, yeah. it sucks. There are certain areas where you can't even get a plan. Right. So it didn't right. work. It right. w- and that was like I mean, his okay, thing. Okay, right. But then that. Trump can't even yeah, build yeah. a, fu- 
Trump can't do anything, really. Yeah. He, tr- he, had, he tried he, to build the wall, and then he tried he's to... He's literally he's, in control of the Senate, right? right. Yeah. He ha- At one point, he had the House and the Senate, and he couldn't mm. do anything. That's just a sign that... It, yeah. It, uh, that's why I fuck. It's like, why even listen to them? Yeah. It, it, what matters is that who's going to elect the judges. Mm. That's why I saw that thing. I was like, your vote isn't a vote for Trump. Your vote is a vote for whoever replaces Ruth Bader, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Ruth Bader Ginsburg. I saw that on Did Instagram. Did he die? She. So he's, do you know who that is? No. Wow, dude. You're not a white <laughs> wow, girl. Wow, man. You're yeah, no I, white girl. Yeah, you're no white. It's, or whatever. Is that a, So was that a justice or a judge or whatever? She is a justice that is absolutely. On know, the Supreme at, Court. I thought you looked yeah. at Instagram. Don't you click on the stories? Uh, yeah, click on the girls. Yeah, I only <laughs> say girls just because it's the only person I've ever heard that knows them. Yeah, but there's not. I mean, there's definitely a lot more girls posting about these things. That's some know. facts. I don't, yeah, I actually haven't seen really any guys. Actually, like very rarely, everyone. It's just like something. I don't know. I just like I don't know. Like from attending protests to having like these things in like Instagram, it gets tiring. Like, sometimes you just want to fucking relax, and then you go on Instagram. And then they're always like, if you want to relax, if you're you, killing you, people. You're killing little babies in Uganda. That's and what it said. you know what? Maybe. Maybe we are. I, they probably believe that. And it might be, who knows? It might be, I mean, there might be some truth to the fact that if you don't do anything and you trick because you want to relax, that you are yeah, not helping. I, you're I, at least I, not helping. Yeah, I think there's truth to that. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I, I attended uh, as many as I could in Sebastopol. Um, I guess probably a little burned out, probably a little tired. I don't know. Uh, like, just the idea of, like, protesting forever just doesn't work. People get tired. People move on. And, mm-hmm. uh, it's the hot. Hong Kong is still protesting. Really? Yeah, I mean, they should it's be. It's definitely yeah. a little bit of worse situation. Yeah, no, it's much worse. Much like worse, their yeah. their literal freedom of, to of speech is getting fucking. Their freedom of everything. Yeah, it? well, yeah, they're getting absorbed by fucking. They're all waving the American other, flags. The other state. They're better at it. They're uh, better at it than us. Mm, yeah, I. Yeah, I I can't say too much on that. I need to do more research on Hong Kong. On Hong Kong. Yeah. I, don't, I need to too. I'm I'm a little behind on it. Everyone forget. Everyone forgets. Yeah, that's that's one thing I said when I was uh, in Sebastopol. Uh, did I tell you one time I just fucking like ran a protest? No. Uh, Sebastopol. Uh, one of the, one of the teachers like coordinated it, but then once we started protesting, she wasn't like there. Like you know, starting like some of the chants. So then uh, my friend and I. What was this for? Uh, it was like right after George Floyd uh, was killed. So oh, it was just really? like George a Floyd teacher pro- and, did this? Yeah, yeah. So it was, was like JC. A, uh, Annalyn. Huh? What teacher? We you wouldn't even know. I wouldn't even know. She sent no, yeah, because she she's new, or maybe she isn't. What's her and, name? Um, just, here, just, I can just whisper it or something. No, I she, she's in here. Um, cause like the, I like talked to the sheriff. It was really weird. The sheriff organized it. Well, they were there, and I don't know, cause it's kind of weird. That's just a sh- that's just a show, like that. Who are you pro? Are you protesting against the sheriff that is organizing the protest for it? Um, what? yeah, that's it. Yep, that's. Oh wait, cause I was in your freaking email. Oh nice, yeah, nice work, Gumbo. Gumbo, interesting. Yeah, Gumbo. You ever watch Gumby? No. You know. Fuck. Here, we're we've gone pretty deep into this. Probably like fifteen, twenty more minutes of this. Yeah, this is crazy. Uh, yeah, I didn't expect it to just like go long. Okay, uh, what was it, sheriff? Oh wait, but then you have the Sonoma County Sheriff thing. Um, god damn. It. Maybe if I search protest, it'll go better. But it's from some lady. So if you see a lady, no. She literally has a sheriff email. She do a a a. No, but like I'm just trying to find. Uh, what? Are you are you subscribed to the New York Times? I guess so. <laughs> it's <laughs> that's crazy. I, yeah, maybe I will stop that because there's so many freaking third J C centers. Kate Scully, no. Have you thought about doing dot ahs? Oh, oh, you're he's smart. 
preference graduation introduction oh wait that's no, from that's mr stickle <laughs> well it's not working anyways um i started like doing the protests and like literally i don't know people in sebastopol didn't know how to protest you know uh-huh. how like there's always people protesting there on like every sunday yeah. about like i don't even know war type stuff just, yeah just like freaking wake up or something it's just like wake up <laughs> wake up embody a little makeup. embody the now yeah um uh, that's basically what they were doing. They're just like, yeah, and like waiting for Hans. It's like, guys, have you ever been? This is like, I think it was like just bigger than that. So I'm just like, all right, we're gonna go through the uh, I crosswalks. I saw a Hans for Bernie thing one time. That was cool. Yeah, I guess it was actually kind of funny. Yeah, it was cute. And then like one person just like ran. Into it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, nope, 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 not your freedom of speech, my freedom of car. Into yeah, your it was mouth. my right. Yeah, it was my right to drive into you and cause. Uh, bodily damage uh, but what was I saying um, so yeah I basically started the protest uh, and then I asked the organizer hey can we uh, block the intersection for nine minutes uh, and then she's like no this is a peaceful protest and like I didn't say we're gonna hurt anyone yeah why 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 block the intersection that sucks when you're going to work you're yeah going to, I'm on my way to work dude okay well at least you- uh, what a way to make someone say fuck these people Hmm. Let's say, yeah, maybe, uh, how, how many people are going to jump out and go, kumbaya, I don't contribute to society, I don't have a job, and I have nowhere to go. A lot of people in Sebastopol. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> to me, that sucks. Okay. People should be wanting, if someone's on, no. I, that is where, let me just oh make sure God. that she knows. I'm no, being kidnapped. It was me. Right now. And, yes. I did. Feed the rabbit. Um, I'm, yeah. Good. Uh, so, uh, blocking to the me that seems like what a way to make. If you're like not aware of this, right? Who the fuck are these people that don't have to have their that don't aren't on their way to work? It sucks because I'm an essential worker. Yeah, 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 yeah. Losing tons of money because I don't get to came unemployment and get six hundred extra bucks a week. Yeah, I should have stayed we, on that I for lost longer. So much. I didn't get it at all. I really? mean, because I was like, you know what? I need a job. I need to support my family. No one in my family had a job when this happened. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, I'm going to get a job. And I lost. I mean, your parents were in unemployment, right? No, for a while they weren't. Because Whoa. Of, yeah. And uh, everything was backed up, I guess. Yeah. But I immediately got a job. And uh, yeah, also, it's be, a little bit of yeah. a weird situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mom couldn't for a while. But okay. the, uh, yeah, I immediately got uh, a job. Mm-hmm. And I spent all my time while everyone, you know, working. Mm-hmm. And um, losing a lot of money. Yeah, and I got, that's I, what I, I got realized once I got a job. And I, wait, you got wait what? I lost my other job. That's why I had to go back there. This guy was working at a different job. I was working at Walker Creek Ranch. Oh right. Oh, so you had two jobs? No, I had that job and I lost it. So I was of, I was available. So I was available okay. to get that compensation, that benefit. Oh. And I didn't take it because I immediately did what I thought was the right thing and got a job. Anyway, if you, I, anyway, you probably would have made that are, thousand that are, bucks. I would have made more. Yeah, those people because I was making a lot mm-hmm. there. So those people that just are, on unemployment, just the yeah. the extra benefit, you probably made like six thousand bucks. I actually don't. I have no idea. Yeah, but I know it's a lot less than what I've made now. Yeah, and those people that are pissed about that, and mm-hmm. then they're driving to work, and I'm gonna be fucking late and get yelled at because of these people are ta- in the street for something. Mm-hmm. I don't even know what's going on. That's annoying. And okay. you're not gonna want to support them. I wouldn't if I okay. was in that situation. That didn't happen to me. Yeah, but. Don't block the intersection. Mm. You're just pissing people off. Hmm. Okay. That's my opinion. I mean, that is your opinion. Do something. Block pi- something else. Honestly. Yeah. If you if you block, know, block maybe the block whole food entrance, entrance. so Something's no one like could get into. If whole you foods. want to ruin someone's day for like like when they're trying to be leisurely instead of caring about the cause or something, mm. block like the movie theater or something. Oh, I guess you couldn't because of Corona. Yeah, could. but something like that. Hmm. I don't know. I, I, I support blocking the intersection. I think it's a pretty easy thing to, like, avoid. You can literally... I mean, hella people just drove around it. Um, How? Well, if you are if you see it, uh, you know, by screaming memes, you just turn into the bank and you kind of, like, turn out out of there. Um, and then it's, it's a one-way intersection, so if you're coming in from the one way... It, okay, if you're coming in from that one way, you're kind of fucked. <laughs> but the other directions, you're fine. I guess. If you have it, I guess that's fine. Yeah. I thought it, it's just like we weren't doing anything the entire time. But Did you know, you know what? Get who, through? Huh? Did anybody try to get through? No, but you know why? Why? Because we had the police support, which is weird. But the police put their cars in the middle of the intersection. I guess to protect. You I, I I convinced the police to be like, 
uh, I think, you know, the very least we can do to, um, you know, acknowledge this, like, atrocious act is, you know, block the intersection, which kind of sounds, sounds dumb coming out of my mouth, but, you know, he, I somehow articulated it to him in a way where it made sense, and he brought another sheriff over to bring his car, and they blocked the intersection willingly. That That's to keep you guys safe, I would assume. Yeah. To keep you, yeah. Well, I, I think... I think partly in solidarity, maybe some, uh, uh, you know, uh, performative uh, activism or something. I don't know. For there's a lot, lot, there's just tons of reasons why yeah, it makes sense. But it, but I don't. Know. It's way even if they didn't support it, it's way more worth it to do that than make a fuss about it. Right, and be like, no. And they probably did support it, knowing where we are. We, I, I, I've had good experience with the police here. Obviously, I'm yeah. not someone that's supposed to have the bad experiences right. with it. But right. Yeah. No, the I've police had bad experience shot me. Other law enforcement. Like agents, yesterday, but, they actually yeah. shot me. It was crazy. Have you ever been pulled over? Mm, no i have only been in an accident oh, okay and then the police is like what happened like this guy hit me in the back he's like all yeah. right here's all this insurance money i wish that's how it worked but no it's like three months of like the insurance money and like the people who take your car like trying to fuck you over and like yeah. take all your money <laughs> it's so fucked up like you have your car there for like a day it's like Seventy dollars each day. So I had it there for like three dollars. Like the police department? Or no, 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 no. The towing facility where they take oh. broken cars. Um, you couldn't get it. Well, basically, like I was like trying to figure out all the insurance shit, and then it was like three days. I was like, oh, you owe like two hundred ten dollars for each day you were there, and like a uh, hundred dollars for you know just the initial like putting your car there. So it was like three hundred ten dollars. I'm like, dude, fuck you guys. <laughs> yeah, well, that does suck. Yeah, no. So you got to be careful. What my dad said is that he has. How'd uh, you get it out? Uh, you literally have to, like, go to them and be like, uh, stop charging us. You can't do that. Like, this was the only place our car could go to. You can't just, like, we didn't have to, like, go to court or anything. We just, just like, we just, like, told them, like, you're being mean. And they, they stopped? Yeah, but I feel like Weird. that money, I think maybe that went, like, to the, ins- my insurance or, like, the other person's insurance because they're in direct contact with the insurance people. And huh. they usually, they like taking the insurance people's money. Because that's why we pay insurance. And it's just so some fucking ratty ass car, you know, holding ship um, can fucking take it all. I don't know. Insurance, there's, there's, I don't like fucking insurance. I mean, I like, I yeah. I don't know. That sucks. I did not know that that was what happened. That yeah, so d- don't get in an accident. And if you do, be the one who didn't cause it. Yeah. Yeah, because then you get all the money, usually. Uh, and then claim shit that, you know, broke. Be like, oh, I huh. had, I had my grandmother's ashes in there that broke. <laughs> Invaluable. That's at least two million dollars. You could probably claim yeah. that. Some, some person probably would. Well. But why would you have your fucking ashes in your grandma, or in your car? Yeah, I have no idea. That's a pretty, um, um, Okay. Well, it's getting <laughs> kind of late. <laughs> so, so let's, let's put some, some guiding questions for the people out there who are like, damn. This political system sucks. What can I do do to make change? Nothing. Uh, oh, you stopped. Really? Uh huh. No. Well, the, at least the audio is still gone. Oh, oh wait, did it stop or did it press press OK? Oh, it's I wonder if the battery. It didn't stop. Wow, you have so much space on your on your. Phone. I I got the 128. Wow. Holy yeah. Shit. So once I upload, I'm gonna delete it. I have 64. No, I it, I put in like an extra hundred Whoa. bucks. Um, um, I think the fi- the the. If you want to change the system, I don't know how you can do it. And, uh... Right. Don't live in an echo chamber. I think that's true, yeah. I think people get obsessed with, you know, Fox News or CNN. You know, Don't block everybody on Instagram because they don't know what's going on. I think that, yeah. I think the whole, like, digital activism of, like, saying, like, oh, if you don't support, you know, so-and-so you know, unfollow me or I'll unfollow you. I think that's a very, yeah. Kind yeah, of, I think it's bad. I think yeah. it's bad. I think, yeah. Um, you can't just silence it, people it's who definitely either don't understand. People might not understand and you're yeah. going to maybe put it in their head that, well, I don't like you. You just block me because right. I understand. So then it's, it's, it's really making it worse for the movement. So like, yeah, I, I think you're people seeding, are kind of, you're seeding dissidents by doing that. You're putting them all together so that no, so that, I mean, it's already what's happened with people like, oh, I'm only watching, I'm only going to watch this, or I'm only going to watch this. And yeah. now with the YouTube, I'm only going to, it's like everyone's becoming just ultra, all these little factions and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Not good. Yeah. But I think everyone can agree that black lives matter. Yeah. Police brutality is bad. Racism is bad. Yeah. Um, protests are good. I, yeah. I think there, we have to find a way to make it so that 
that incident never happens. I mean, shit always happens, but we can't... I don't know. Because, like, those officers just watched. But we mm-hmm. have to find a way to make it so that that never happens again. Yeah, I think we should totally train our police more. I, th- I think yeah. it's so fascinating that we don't. Right. I really didn't realize that it's not hard. Right. <laughs> or it is hard. I don't know why. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, but you, you can always a, need police. There's uh, police yeah. that, like, you have to have we need, a four-year there needs degree. To be changed. But there, you yeah. can, like, become a police officer without a degree or anything. You just right. can't go up as high. Right. I do think it would be cool if they had much stronger training. Right, yeah. And it's okay. If, we're, if, we're, if we get better police, it's okay to put more money in the police force. If it means yeah. safer communities and, and less yeah. violence. And if that means reallocation within the police, because I'm sure they have money that's probably not going to the right places. Uh... I think in Sebastopol, it was like 64% of the Sebastopol's uh, budget was like uh, towards the police. And maybe maybe that's what they need and maybe they need to reallocate, you know, where all this money is going. Uh, because, uh, yeah, I think training's something that's underrated for sure. And all, and for the people that are going to be like, wow, we've been protesting for a while and black people and, and police brutality and perceived and real racism by mm-hmm. the police is continually happening they're like wow there's just nothing we can do yeah keep in mind that do you something has happened mm-hmm. it might not seem like it because everything takes a little while to come into effect we right. might live in a ginormous country that is incredibly bogged down with rules and laws and, and bureaucracy extremely diverse. it's extremely diverse but for, the way that our government works is incredibly slow yeah but you th- clearly i think it is very there has been there was a difference with the rodney king rats i think Things did get better. Mm-hmm. They're not. They're not as good as they could be. Mm-hmm. And they're. I think things are going to get better now, and we're going to see those. We're going to see this play out in the next coming years, and it's yeah. going to happen naturally. Equality. Yeah. People talk about the weight, not necessarily the wage gap, but more racial equality. Yeah. More, um, gender equality. Right. I think when you look at the younger generations, that it's just that that gap is is becoming increasingly small and yeah. the majority of people are a lot older so we still see wow there's this huge disparity mm-hmm. as we become the older generation right it's just going to continuously shrink it's happening yeah. it's happening i think i, I think, think progress we, is coming this from 2000 to 2100 is really like it's going to be pushing like you said you know the younger kids into the older categories and these younger kids are going to be like fostered to a more you know liberal education and liberal politics and you know uh not to push down like conservative views because like we need both views preferably we'd have more than two you know views we don't have to categorize people in the two places but i think eventually um you know these racist acts uh you know just so blatant are gonna really come to a minimum and uh to say they won't exist uh probably probably not you'll have your you know one outlier but i think it'll become so small that it's not something we have to keep in mind every time or we shouldn't have all these you know uh you know rest in peace so and so and when it does happen we know about it yeah yeah because it is it is uncommon in the grand scheme of things we know about it because there are bizarre situations and they've outraged people right they aren't getting swept under the rug because clearly they aren't we're all learning about it now right and i think that's a i think us hearing about that is a good sign yeah i i think even just now, after all these things have happened, I think the, like, blatantly racist people are getting called out, like, righteously so. Um, like, you're seeing all these people's videos of these, like, women harassing black people or uh, even, like, black people harassing, like, these uh, palatu, uh, palatadeas, people who sell, uh, like, the Mexican ice cream vendors, like, they were fucking with them. Whoa, why? Yeah, I, I don't know. But uh, I think because of video now, and it's so easily available through people's phone, we're finally seeing the truth. And uh, I think Will Smith said it, is that we're not, there's not violence that was, like, coming back. The violence is just being recorded or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So I think, if, yeah. If, if, and, and crime is lower across this country. Mm-hmm. I think it had a recent little spike, but it's <laughs> it's going it's been going down it's been going down for for decades. Yeah. Police brutality has been going down. Police, I, everything is getting better. Everything is getting better, and I'm glad that we're freaking out about stuff. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, it's it's you know, things are never going to be perfect, but but it the progress we've already made is incredible, mm-hmm. and uh, in the grand scheme of things, and that I think it's just going to continue happening. Yeah. It's. I, I think. There's no way. There's no way for 
Trump, if you think Trump wants to make that not happen, there's no way he wouldn't, that he would be able. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hopefully not a second Trump term. I don't know how okay with you, with that you are. I'm okay with it. I don't care. I don't think it's going to, I honestly don't think, I, I think that it matters whether or not he's president much less than it matters who's in the Senate. Okay. Or who's? I mean, maybe it matters. Those, he, yeah, so it, it matters if he appoints really, a conservative judge. Really, because like it doesn't judge. matter who's up there if you know the Senate and the House is tied up and they can't like get a vote through. What? Oh yeah, yeah. Right. I guess. Yeah. So I guess we're kind of waiting on that. Um, I don't personally want a Biden presidency specifically because of a lot of his policy, policies. But honestly, mm-hmm. I was reading through it um, the, the by the Biden goals, and I don't think he'll accomplish any of them. I mean, I don't know. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It was completely eliminate bail. Uh, mm. So, you know, that guy paid bail, so he got out. Yeah. They want to completely deny cash bail. Mm. But that also means that criminals are not booked in jails at all. And that uh, there was, like, in New York, they got rid of it. And so people are getting arrested and then going out and then committing more crimes, committing another shooting that same night. <laughs> there was a, That happened where there was, like, a, uh, I think it was, like, a drive-by, and then he went out and did it again. Yeah. Because there's no cash bail. Yeah. So... He wants to get rid of that, and they want to get rid of all zoning for, mm-hmm. like, urban planning and have federal... Only the federal government is in charge of urban planning, so they're getting rid of suburbs to put more low-income apartments. That's their... I don't think he'll do any of it, to be honest. Mm. I, I just think that, like, Trump is just, like, an awful person, and he really spurs up the wrong kind of people. Um, you know, I'm pointing to the alt-right. Mm-hmm. And, like, th- I, I just, just... Empowering them in any way, because... It was uh, Richard Spencer who said, you know, when when he, he was elected, there was like a little tremble their way, you know, in terms of progress towards, you know, a white supremacist nation. Um, mm-hmm. That's, you, you know, it's been something that's, you know, started since slavery and we still kind of hear the echoes of it's in, it. It is interesting yeah. that they said that. Yeah. No, I, I watched a documentary on it. It was really interesting. You should tune in for it. It's, it's really bad. It was like 2016 when they uh, drove through uh, Charlottesville. Remember when that? the yeah yeah the the guy yeah it was less violent. I mean there was three people Wait. what right <laughs> the guy who drove through the people and no killed, oh no I thought that protest three well there was three people that oh died, that was but extremely it was been... scary dude they had so much footage of people just like in there and like they had these like ex uh, veterans in there who were like armed and there was like no police there and the police were just like uh-huh. watching from the the side and they're just like waiting for a brawl to happen they had to wait were for there the brawls? fucking. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh really? Yeah. No one shot any guns. Do you think, but you think it's worse than? But didn't less people die than those that have died in these riots recently? Uh, um, only three people died there. Probably. And been it was a very, it was a very controlled incident. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But it was so bad. It was literally like a little like militia was like in the yeah. place and like they were trying to like fight it and it was. To add to that, that was though, scary. People saying, "Wow, all this." Well, one, this mm. the pearl clutchers and the gun nuts are not the same groups of conservative people. A lot of the time, mm. the gun nuts are not even conservative people. Yeah. So the people that went to the governor's office in michigan and mm-hmm. they had their they were open carrying and all that yeah wow why don't these conservatives support the violence in the black lives matter movement the mm. difference was those people had their guns they were open carrying mm. to display their rights yeah they there was no acts of violence mm. they had no acts of violence and everyone was armed in michigan yeah, not yeah. everyone well, but what in was michigan, this after but all the where you're taking me? just with the coronavirus stuff. okay i just saw like people saying the conservatives when they have to wear a mask oh we're, and they I'm posted not a picture the way, of like yeah. but yeah, you're moderate. Yeah, I'm. I'm kind of a liberal. Every, yeah, I'm no, a liberal no, no, no. With... It's funny because uh, American politics is so skewed to the right. So like, yeah. if you identify, basically, if you're a moderate, if you're actually moderate, like, you seem like a conservative. But here. really, yeah, we're here. so skewed to the left, literally for the whole world. Oh, we're you skewed mean to the left for Europe. Mean... Yes, I mean California. Our California okay, okay. Politics. I thought you were talking about the country. I'm like, no, the country's skewed to the right. Like, I don't generally. Think, I think the country is, whatever. Our our. Weird, like there's a thing saying a that like really thing. really Bernie was like pretty moderate. Who the fuck thinks that? And like I don't know. There, I do not think that. It was definitely some Vox shit, but I and, believe and it. And Vox is like ridiculous. Yeah, no, they're pretty leftist, and they they don't identify their own like biases at all. Just, yeah, like, Vox is incredible. The right wing me, yeah. Uh, they talk to Fox and Friends, and then Fox and Friends talks to Fox, and then Trump. I gets used to Fox. watch Vox for a while to yeah. try to like keep up, diversify yourself. Yeah, your portfolio. It, yeah, they still make some. Their science videos are the good thing. Yeah, yeah, that's probably better. 
Okay. I think we could go on this for yeah. a fucking while. That was the longest time. Yeah. There's... Holy shit, buddy. What? It's been two hours. Or an hour and a half. An hour and a half. Wow. Um, Cut that down. <laughs> Can you do that? Uh, I mean, I could. It'd probably just Cut. take a while. Yeah, it would take a while. Yeah. You could make something out of that. Going? Yeah. Yeah. You could do something. You could make that, like, 45 minutes of, of, of Wait, actual commentary. You know what I... <laughs> no, okay. I'm going to post one raw and then the highlights. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, okay, so uh, thanks for watching. Maybe we'll have another one of these. Maybe a new person. Maybe the same person. Maybe I leave. You get more yeah, of this. talk to the cat. You talk to the cat for an hour and a half get, about we politics. Get, we get one with Luke. Ooh. Luke? Yeah. Is he here? No, I just on Discord. Oh, yeah? Just get him over the Discord. One on guns would be interesting because I actually know what I'm talking about a little bit more. See, that's the thing where I'm completely in, in not, or. Yeah, I don't know anything about that. And that's a whole nother issue. Because I don't like mass shootings, but just getting rid of guns. I don't like mass shootings guns. either. <laughs> Fix that, I don't know. Okay, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Stay frosty. Eat your cereal. Um, and that's it. Let me do another one, ladder one. There we go. Pause. Pause.